Hey there guys, the G-Man from Texas here. Once again, thanks a lot for those guys who subscribe to my channel, appreciate it. Hey, today I'm gonna to do a short video on the upgrades that I have done to my Bass Tracker Pro 170. You know, uh, not everybody can buy a $60,000, $80,000 bass boat. You know, I'm retired. I'm a retired cop, I got a pension, 401k, you know. Started a little business photography, I do all right. But I can't afford $80,000 bass boat. I'm not interested in tournaments, really. If I was, then I'd say, maybe I need it. But I go out there in the lake and I catch just as much, as much fish as anybody else. And uh, what I did is I bought what I could afford. A, a 2020 Bass Tracker Pro 17, 17 foot. And uh, little by little, as I get a job here and there, I upgrade the uh, electronics, make other adjustments to it, and uh, make it as comfortable as I can, just like those big price boats. So if you're like me, you want to see some of the stuff that I did to my boat that you can do, then uh, check this out. First things that I upgraded on this boat were the straps. I went ahead and uh, put these ratchets. These are much faster at the ramp, guys. You know you don't want to hold people up. Just one crank up and they're and they're out. Coming around here, you can see a different transducer. That's because the boat comes with a. Lorenz Hook 2 4X. It doesn't have charts, GPS. There's no way I can go through these high hazard lakes without it. So I upgraded to a Hummingbird Helix 7, third generation with side scan. Nice unit. Over here, I uh, installed this little strap, holds my rods. Coming forward, I bought myself a Lorenz. Pitch reveal. It's got uh, down scan, maps, real nice unit. Install that myself right here in the front. The trolling motor that comes with this boat, 45 pounder, not really very good. So I upgraded to this Mincota power drive, power drive with iPilot. In another video, I'm going to show you how I install the transducer so that it doesn't catch when it goes around. This trolling motor, guys, drives itself. I don't have to mess with it. Over here, I installed a keel guard. Uh, even though these aluminum boats have a rib to protect them, I think, uh, you know, extra protection, not bad. Same thing up here. I went ahead and uh, bolted down the golden rule fish measurement coming down here to the side I install these rod holders as you can see very comfortable I copy from another youtuber this little rail here which holds my crankbaits and I uh, in the rod box I install these holders and really gives me a lot more room. Simple things that, little by little guys, makes the boat much better. Here in the back, I installed the rod holder for those trolling days. And of course, very convenient, the power pole shallow water anchor. Between the eye pilot and the shallow water anchor guys and the side scan, there's nothing I can't do that those guys with the fancy boats can do. I also installed these uh, Smith rollers on the trailer. And man, it makes it real nice to put the boat back in the trailer. Very comfortable. I 
also went ahead and uh, installed this little caddy, holds my scissors and my pliers so they don't have to be in the way and easily accessible. I went ahead and bought this extra lean seat. You know, it brings those big, comfortable chairs, but when you're fishing, you need all the room you can get. And with the iPilot, as I mentioned before, I don't have a foot pedal to be in the way, guys. I love it. Another thing I did, guys, I ran uh, a straight wire for my Lawrence and my, and my Hummingbird straight to the battery. Uh, I was having some problems. Whenever I got on plane, the unit would turn off. And uh, by wiring straight to the battery, I solved that problem. I installed this little buzz under the dashboard near the floor of my boat. And here's where the straight line from the battery comes in. And with, from here, I power my Hummingbird in the console and my Lorenz up in the front. And I installed this Genius 2 uh, dual bank charger. One for the crack battery, one for the trolling motor battery. And uh, all cables out of the way. And it's pretty neat. And as always, my best upgrade is all glory. Proudly displayed on my windshield. And there you have it, guys. It's not an $80,000 boat, but you know with the options that I put in it, the upgrades. I go fishing anywhere comfortably, relaxing, and have a great time. Hey, if you like what I did, leave me a comment. Got any questions? For sure. I hope you liked it. This is a way to go ahead and make upgrades to your boat and make it as comfortable as you can, little by little. Hey, the G-Man from Texas, saying thank you again for the subscribers, and until next time, guys, peace, y'all.